Today is Good Friday and it is a time in the church when we celebrate Christ's passion and death. Um, and you might be wondering, why do we call it Good Friday? I mean, is there anything good about death? year the church starts to look pretty somber. Um, you might remember from Good Friday's past that all the decorations are stripped down, uh, the, church, the priests dress all in red and we don't actually have a mass on Good Friday, instead we venerate the cross, we kiss the crucifix and we do all this because we're celebrating that through Jesus's passion and death on a cross he has established a kingdom that outlasts all other powerful empires. And you know, in the eyes of the world, the cross just doesn't make sense. Why would you kiss this cross, um, this torture weapon that your Lord, our Lord, was crucified on? But we see it as this ultimate symbol of self-sacrificial love that Christ um, laid down his life for us on that cross for each of us. And so we venerate this because we are celebrating the victory that he won on that cross. Um, you know, if you look at the really powerful kingdoms, think about it, the most powerful kingdoms of this time um, are all built on, you know, power and wealth and even sometimes oppression. But the kingdom that Jesus establishes, the kingdom of Christ, is not marked by any of that. It's marked by truth and divine love. We never read that Christ's arms had to be pried from him and he had to be forced on that cross. We always read in scripture that, you know, he openly outstretched his arms wide and willingly for each of us um, and willingly laid down his life on the cross. He let evil have its free reign with him because he didn't want to conquer his enemies with violence. He wanted to not conquer, but to convert his enemies. And so there is goods in Good Friday. We call it Good Friday because Christ's passion and death isn't a sign of weakness. It's the opposite, it is the sign of unconquerable love. That love was God's only weapon. And if we are called as Catholics to follow in his footsteps, then we are called to that same spirit. So I would like to leave you with a quick quote that I heard from Venerable Fulton Sheen that inspired me. Um, he said that unless there is Good Friday in our lives, then there can be no Easter Sunday. So there is good in Good Friday, um, and I hope that this wee video has in some way inspired you. Um, and I hope that you have a beautiful and prayerful Friday, and I will speak to you at Easter. God bless.